This week, I flew to Sevilla for the ultimate Champions League VIP experience. We traveled alongside the Borussia Dortmund team, stayed in a luxury hotel with club officials, former players and the BVB U19, got exclusive access to the training session that is closed to the public and watched this absolute banger of a game, Sevilla vs Dortmund pitch side. Five goals, wonder kid man of the match performances, electric atmosphere, even a historical manager farewell. Sit back and enjoy as I take you on this iconic trip with me and I will also tell you how I managed to do this. Good morning guys from Dortmund Airport. I just checked in here, got my tickets and this book here, which has my match tickets, the boarding pass, VIP experience, press pass. We also got some nice match day scarves here. And I'm gonna take you to Sevilla. We're gonna go there together. Dortmund's U19 entering the airport as well. They also play against Sevilla's youth, by the way. They're gonna be on the plane with us. And look at this plane here, guys. There's the team Airbus and the fan Airbus. And we're gonna be flying with the U19 on the fan Airbus. We're in the plane with Sinan, yes. Daniel, yes. you might know this guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and over there, this is the Dortmund team in their own plane. We're in this plane, they're in their plane, and we're flying at the same time, landing in Sevilla. So guys, we just landed in Sevilla. Look at the lights behind me. It looks like I'm in a disco, man. Aha, uh -huh, guys, you can tell we are in Sevilla. Indeed, 358 times Europa League winners. They are in a bad form right now, but you can never underestimate Sevilla. It is pretty warm, man. Wow. And this guy is wearing a long sleeve sweater, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Arrived in the city of Sevilla. This is our hotel for the next two days. I've been told it is one of the best hotels in Spain. Coffee machine, some... Oh, it's a beer! It's a beer! Oh my... No, it's water. F ah! Well, this is getting interesting now, yeah? Whoa! This could be a nice view if you're here with someone else. But I mean, I'm alone, so nobody's gonna watch me shower in here. <laughs> we are in Sevilla, guys! We have around two to three hours spare time now before we attend the final training session of Borussia Dortmund at the Sevilla Stadium. Guys, what do you say about the bar? These bottles? Boom! <laughs> Salute! Salute! Cheers, and look at this. Whoa, with a view, guy. Woo! Not bad. <laughs> we have now arrived at the Estadio Ramon Sanchez Pizjuan, Sevilla Stadium, and it looks really good, right? I knew it wasn't a huge stadium. I think it has a capacity of like 40 to 45,000, but the red, the white, here we see all of Sevilla's titles. I think the design actually looks very, very clean. And Dortmund are actually training in there right now. And we are going to watch that. Fan shop as well. Guys, you want to buy a Sevilla jersey for the game tomorrow? Let me think. Uh, no. Which one do you prefer? The white one, the red one, or the black one? I think I'm going to take the red one. Yo, what is that, man? This banner, tifo, whatever painting looks amazing. And here we see the BVB team bus as well. In fact, I just saw this is a mosaic out of 100 million stones. This is amazing. Press area. So this is a training where only... Only the press sponsors are allowed, not the public, but we can go in there today. Sweet, man. Wow. What do you think about the stadium? Nice. Impressive. Nice, no? Very impressive. Yeah, man. Seats are very, very clean red. Here we have the Dortmund team training. So my first impression of the stadium, I didn't think it would be this good looking, to be honest. I know this is the stadium where the Europa League final this year took place, Frankfurt against Rangers. I always thought this was a, well, average stadium, but it has a sort of aura, vibe around it. Hard to describe. I'm impressed. They're playing a little good old rondo and here the same thing right yeah yes. two rondos and then the goalkeepers warming up it's very very uncommon for me that a stadium has no roof like i don't think i've ever been to a f professional big football stadium with no roof because this as most spanish stadiums only has a roof on the main stand right here but i mean it doesn't rain here it never rains basically so why would you need a roof now they're serious about this it's actually crazy i've never been at a training session like this there's not many people here i don't know 100 people and to be able to witness this thanks so much to TFC for making this possible. I also hope I don't embarrass myself in tomorrow's TFC challenge because they do have a challenge for the game, Sevilla against Dortmund. And of course, I'm going to line up my 5 side team. I'm looking at the players right now, Scout Fiago, checking out who I will line up in this challenge. Open training is over because now apparently they're going to do some secret tactic talk and nobody, not even the press, can know about that, obviously. But we'll see this nice stadium again tomorrow and then it's actually going to be serious. Now off to have some dinner. Not the worst way to spend the evening, guys. Oh, 
This is the guy who scored the Champions League winning goal for Dortmund in 1997 against Juventus. Here with us. Wow, we've returned from the dinner. Now it's 1 a.m. Tomorrow is a big day, guys. I'm gonna grab some sleep now in this very comfy bed and catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Today is the day. I have been hired today as Jude Bellingham's personal security man. No, guys, we are doing a Sevilla City trip right now. I have to say, just like Lisa predicted in that prediction battle 2020, the OGs remember it. It is a beautiful city. There is so much history architecture in here. I can recommend. Ay, 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 guys, salmon, some sort of Iberico ham. Oh my god, guys, I have no idea what this is, bro. Any idea what this is? A cake, yeah, a, a cake. Uh, it looks good, it looks good. It looks delicious. Back in the hotel, before the game starts, we will still check out the rooftop pool now because I can't leave Sevilla without checking out this rooftop pool. We've got a gym here as well that I'm not going to use. This is the best part of the trip. I don't care about the football game. I just want to chill in this pool. Guys, I'm not coming with you to the stadium. This view, that's the Cathedral of Sevilla. Very historical building. And the whole city, man. What the hell is this? All the way there, behind the two towers there or whatever, is the stadium of FC Sevilla, where we are going to go in a second. The boys are ready. Everyone wearing a jersey or a scarf, except for me. I will not betray my club. No, no, no. But I think we have six seats. I was told we're like in the sixth row, very close to the pitch. TFC sorted. Guys, once again, make sure you get on TFC. TFC when, is fucking great. You know exactly, guys. When I recommend you something, I mean it. There's hundreds of fantasy football games by now, and I play exactly two of them actively. And one of them is TFC. If you like football manager games, then get on this game. You line up your team, you enjoy every game more than before, even those that you didn't used to care about at all. You can play for free, win cash prizes, jerseys, tickets to football games, most importantly. For example, in this challenge right here, free to play, and the winner gets two tickets for the return leg of today's game in Dortmund against Sevilla in TFC's very own Gold Club, the VIP lounge. Link in the description, make sure you get on this game. You cannot enter the stadium without having a proper beer beforehand. First beer of the day, man. Yes! And now with a proper beer, of course, it is prediction time. Daniel, yes. what is yours? BVB win or are you pessimistic? Always optimistic, 2-1 away win. And what is your team on TFC? Who did you line up? Because I think we're going to compete today. Okay. Whoever has the most points out of us, like who wins our personal battle, what, what, what does what the loser do have, have to do? To do? Yeah. Jump, jump in the pool at night. Yes. Okay. Okay, man. No problem. We're going to compete. We're both okay. going to play the Sevilla uh, BVB uh, challenge. Uh, Which team is going to lose to my team today? Who knew? Okay, Sevilla goalkeeper. Alex Telles. Sevilla defender, left back. Dortmund. Nice. Jude Bellingham, Borussia Dortmund. And Donny Mahn, Borussia Dortmund. Okay, not gonna lie. It's a good team, but not good enough. <laughs> We will see, bro. Have fun in the pool, bro. Do you have your shorts already but for yeah. the pool? The absolute winner team today. My team. He's goes. lying. He's well, lying all the time. Water. Also, Bono and goal. Defender, Nico Schlotterbeck. My midfielder is Rakitic, old, but he still gets the job done for Sevilla. And I went for a double strike partnership. Malen and Adiemi. So the only players different in his team are actually he has Tejas and Bellingham, and I have Schlotterbeck and Rakitic. Yeah, bro, your bro. prediction. Easy 3-0 yeah. BVB. 3-0. Very yeah, confident yeah. today. Bro, what about you? 3-1. Uh, 3-1 before BVB. Annie. Two, two. Two, two. Two, two. Two, two. Okay. First one who doesn't Ooh. say Dortmund will win. What? Two. Draw pessimistic today. What? Three zero. Three zero Dortmund. Easy. Zero two for Dortmund. For me, high scoring game today. Three. Three. Finito. I just heard something from this man right here. What are you gonna do? Say it on camera, man. Yeah, I you have to do it. If your prediction is correct, the score prediction, I have to jump in the pool. But? Make it. And I will join you. Man of culture. I will join you. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> BVB players coming in here. And it is getting heated now. So guys, here we are in front of the stadium. There was one news. BVB are not starting Donny Malen. They're starting Mukoko. I will change my team. Brand for Malen. We will still win that challenge and send Daniel into the pool. Hopefully naked. You replace Malen with? We all trust in Mukoko. Okay, nice choice. Woo! Nice choice. What a stadium. We were here yesterday, but now in the evening, there's also some lights here. It looks even better. I'm going to stick to it. It's not the biggest, but it's beautiful. I'm hyped now. Yesterday at the training session, cool, but this is another level. Champions League nights always hit different man especially when it's a game as close as this one Sevilla with only one point so far Dortmund three points let's get in now and meet ourselves inside the stadium thank you so much we got in guys 
Yeah, still the same beautiful stadium at night with the lights. There we are, guys. 115, that's our seat. And honestly, look at the view. If we wanted to do a streaker here, I I'm just saying, imagine if we wanted. By the way, price question. Who knows this man right here? Comment down below. A little bit more than half an hour before kickoff and only the Dortmund fans are here. Why? Where are the Sevilla fans? Where are you? Also, an interesting fact. I heard that no matter who loses or wins this game, Lopetegui as Sevilla coach, finito. Sampaoli is taking over. He's going to be sacked after this game. So will Sevilla play better because of this? Will they just not care anymore and play worse? We will see about that. Bellingham. Yeah. Karim. A brace today. And Schlotti. Two headers. No, one because it's going to be 3-3. This is so crazy. Right next to the pitch here. Dortmund manager Edin Terzic being interviewed. So basically if Dortmund beats Sevilla tonight, then Sevilla can pretty much already pack their bags and uh, at most go to Europa League. Well, maybe that's what they want. This is looking better now. Sevilla Ultras are here. And Dortmund Ultras also here. Now it's getting dark here. Let the Champions League night begin. I'll take that back, Sevilla fans, they are here! But they just don't care. They sing 10 times louder than the Champions League anthem and they keep singing their song. They still sing. I fucking love that man. This is passion. I take everything back. Sevilla fans are here. Let's go! This is incredible, guys. Unbelievable! I love the fact that behind us, they use these metal barriers, these metal walls to make noise, which is crazy, which is good. Ice ball there. Bellingham with a beautiful pass all over the pitch. Guerrero, first touch on point. Two, three steps, and then nailed it into the bottom right corner with his left foot. Oh! What a double save there from B4B, second goalie Meyer. Wow! Wow! Counter attack! No! No! What the? This could be a red card, man. Yeah. Red card! Red card! Yeah! Red card for Sevilla. These guys are not having it. Oh, yeah. He cancelled it. This is heated here, man. Rakitic. Be quite honest with you, I wouldn't mind the Rakitic goal, but don't tell the other ones because I lined him up in my team. Yeah. Me. So, so close, man. This could be, this could be dangerous. Oh, oh my God. Funnily enough, Sevilla sing an anthem with the same melody as Dortmund's arch rivals, Schalke. Gliding, dribbling, one, two, three, and then just casually chips in the goal. Ah. And these guys, 
I'm not very happy right now. But that shit from Mukoko, I'm fucking real. Brandt! Brandt! Ah! I need my man to score, yeah? And it is half time. Sevilla 0, Dortmund 3. And I said 3 0 Dortmund at half time. He said they didn't want to believe me. But they're gonna witness a hat-trick of goals for Sevilla in the second half. Trust, guys, believe. Bro, you're already shivering. You wanna jump in the pool later? One goal for Dortmund and you're safe. Four, zero. And you're safe, yeah. <laughs> but Mukoko assists. Bellingham goal. Yeah. So I think you're ahead in the battle. 251 of 2,530. Bro, that's a top 10%. That's very good. Okay, guys, it's not looking good for me. I'm currently 2,000 versus 250 for him. So at this point, I can only hope for that 3 3 to actually happen because then both of us are going to jump in the pool. And the Sevillanos, they are back as well. Oh, you can't even hear anything. Oh, it's back and forth and back and forth. Attack Dortmund, counter Sevilla. Attack Sevilla, counter Dortmund. That's how we want to see football. Wow. Donny! Donny! Marlon! No way, bro! You hear what's happening behind me and over there. Sevilla scored their second goal. This stadium here is going to turn into hell. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Come on, Muki. Du bist sicher jetzt. This man is safe. Yes! No jumping yes. in the pool. Oh, Donny! Mach ihn! Oh, he is literally so unlucky. Yeah, man. Oh, what kind of safe was that? And turned into Prime Neuer for a second. In this form, hey, Dortmund could do something against Bayern. Game over. Sevilla won. Dortmund. Oh, and the Sevilla fans here are absolutely freaking out. What is happening? Our man is the last game of Hulen Lobetegui. And they are actually giving him a farewell. I love that. He's done so much for them. Won them the Europa League. Now he's leaving. He's getting sacked. And the whole stadium, despite the loss, despite their poor form, is celebrating their manager. This is football. Look at him, man. They're clearly protesting against the club officials. I only understand puta madre or something and it doesn't sound good. Okay guys, game over. I finished place 2019. No, this is not the current year or something. It's my place in the challenge out of 2600. Embarrassing. Now live, where did you finish, bro? Do I have to jump in the pool or you? I think my chances are very low. Bro, show us your ranking. <laughs> He's already smiling. What Position is the place? 229. 2000? <laughs> bro, that, bro, honestly, respect, man. That's very, very good. Okay, yet Mukoko, of course. Mukoko with a beautiful assist. Yes. Belly Bellingham, of course. I mean, that was the game changer. Bellingham, yeah, yeah. goal and assist. Yeah, yeah. And man of the match. Yeah. Yeah. Jude, yeah, man. Bro, deserve winner, man. <laughs> Thank See you. you later in the Appreciate pool. It. Good thing about this, though, I have successfully avoided my lifetime BVB stadium ban. <laughs> First time I watched BVB, they lost 2 5 against Leverkusen. Second time, they bottled that historical 2 3 against Bremen. So, would they have lost for the third time in a row with me watching? I think BVB fans would have started attacking me. So, now we're good. We chill. We're cool. So, guys, bad news yesterday. We I wanted to go to the pool upstairs. I wanted to jump and I was ready, man. But, but the pool wasn't. Yeah, the pool, the pool wasn't, yeah. The people from the hotel told us, no, you can't go there, it's closed. It's closed. I mean, to be fair, it was like 1 a.m. So now we have a problem. I still lost the bet and I still have to do a punishment. So it's your turn now. in the comments. Let me know in the comments. We're gonna go to the stadium again. So then I'm gonna have to do the punishment and you are gonna tell me now what I have to do. Let's go, I'm already scared. See you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.